Because well, what's happened is the chaos that my generation of the 1960s bequeathed through the sexual revolution. I, when, when I arrived in college in 1964, okay, we, I, we, the colleges were still acting in local parentis in place of the parent. So at my dormitory, uh, um, all women's dormitory, uh, we women had to sign in at 11 o'clock at night. The men could run free the entire night. So it was my generation of women that rose up and said, give us the same freedom as men have. And the colleges replied, no, um, and the world is dangerous, you could be raped, we have to protect you against rape. And what we said okay, was, give us the freedom to risk rape. Okay? And so that what that today's women don't understand, it's a freedom that you want, it's the same freedom that gay men have. When they go and they pick up a stranger someplace, they know it's dangerous, they know they could end up beaten up or killed, okay? but they find it hot. If you want freedom, if you want equality, okay, then you have to start behaving like a man. Okay? So, so what we did is, is we, we, we gave freedom okay, to these young women for several generations, but my generation had been raised in a far more resilient and robust culture. Okay? We had the strength okay, to, to, to know what we wanted and to fight for what we wanted. These young women had been raised in this protective, terribly protective ways. Right? So I, I think in some strange you know, um, fashion, that, that all these demands for intrusion from these you know, Stalinist uh, uh, committees, sexual, you know, uh, investigating dates and so on, it's a way to reinstitute okay, the rules that my generation threw out the window. I, so I, th I think these young women are desperate. Not only that, but I have spoken out uh, very strongly in, you know, in, a, in a piece I wrote for Time Magazine, as in my m most recent book, that, that the raising the drinking age in this country, okay, from 18 to 21, okay, has had a direct result, okay, in these in these disasters of binge drinking fraternity parties. Because you know, to, to let, you let college students, the way we could, go out at, as freshmen, have a beer, sit in a protected adult environment, learn how to discourse with the opposite sex in in in, in a safe you know environment, right, and so on, and you. And, and, and now today, okay, because because of the stupid rule that, that young people can't even buy a drink, okay, you know, in, in a bar until they're 21, we have these fraternity parties that are that are like it, it's the caveman era. Well, of course, in, in this modern age, it, this is this advantages men, okay. Men want to hook up, men want to have sex. Women don't understand what men want, so you know, it, women women are like put out because they're hoping that maybe the man will continue to be interested in them. Okay, the man just wants experience, okay. The, the, the hormones drive toward toward to me. I've I've, I've theorized. Okay, that the you know the, that the sex drive in men is intertwined with with hunt and pursuit. Okay, yes, and, yes. And so on. I feel absolutely this is what women don't understand. Okay, it, 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 and if women understood what I understand from my transgender perspective, all right, you know, these women on the streets. Okay, um, you know, I you know I'm obviously you know Madonna, you know, ad admirer, and you know, I, and I, I I support pornography and prostitution. So I don't want what I'm it's about to say to seem conservative. Is it? It isn't. Okay, what I'm saying is the women on the street, young women. Okay, Okay, who are about, who are jogging? Okay, with no bra on. Okay, short shorts and have and have earbuds in their ears. Okay, just jogging along like as I said. They, these women do not understand the nature of the human mind. They do not understand the nature of psychosis. Okay, and this intertwining that I'm talking about. Okay, of, of the hunt, the hunt and pursuit thing. Okay, they're triggering a hunt thing. Just what 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 you what. Um, uh, you, you have talked about in, in terms of the zebra herd, okay? They are triggering the hunt, okay, uh, impulse, okay, in psychotic men, okay? Uh, to have here, there goes a very appetizing and, and, and totally oblivious animal, okay, bouncing along here, okay? So, and, and we're in a period now where psychosis is not understood at all, okay? And yet, yet young women have had, have had no exposure to movies like Psycho, okay? The, the, you know, the kind of uh, the, the rapist serial murder thing and so on the, the kind of strange dynamic that has to do with the, with the assault on the on the mother imago you know in, in, the, in the in the mind of the psychotic so I think that there's an incredible naivete these young women are emerging and going to college and in, in this like incredible Dionysian environment of you know of, of a sec, a orgiastic sexual experience in fraternity houses they're completely unprepared for it right? and and so you're getting all this outrage so feminist rhetoric has gotten more and more extreme in its portrayal of men is evil. But in fact, okay, what we have is a chaos. It's a, it's a chaos in the sexual realm. The, the, the girls have not been t told anything real okay, in, in terms of, of biological substratum to sexual No, activity. and there's full of lies about what constitutes consent, too. E exactly. And it's be become something that's essentially portrayed linguistically yeah. as a sequence of progressive contracts, which 
you know, is it's, well, I think, you know, I've thought for a while that we're living in the delusional fantasy of a naive 13-year-old girl. That's basically sums up our culture. 